Hi, for those of you who didn't know, my name is Pam Pamelim. I'll be showing you bits and bobs from my Taiwan business trip. But first, I have to catch my flight, and I'm flying with China Airlines tonight, Taiwan's national airline. My first welcome drink is the famous milk tea. Arrived at the hotel, I'm just going to quickly show you my outfit of the day. Shoes from Tots, which I got from my trip to New York, and bag from Balenciaga. Breakfast, typical Taiwanese breakfast. These are my favorite. Out of all the countries I visited, my favorite breakfasts are in Taiwan and Japan, mainly because they have grilled fish and miso soup. I'm just going back up to my room to get my makeup done and all the packing done. They want us to leave at. Eight today, so I got up at six. The first thing I do is that I quickly get dressed. It took me about five minutes, and then I come down for breakfast first, and then I go up and you know start getting ready. That's me. Now you can see more of the view. After breakfast, I then went up to my room to continue getting ready. It's makeup time. These are the brushes I brought when traveling. The first attraction is the Shimai Museum, beautifully designed in a neoclassic style, which reminded me of Washington D.C. This museum is privately owned. Let's go inside. So many, so many exhibitions. It's like the combinations of museums in the U.S., like in D.C., the Smithsonian. Compared to the ones in Europe, it's like a mixture of the Natural History Museum with the British Museum. And they have the collections from the ancient times, Romans armor, and also a lot of uh, Japanese armors as well. It's definitely an all-in-one sort of place. I couldn't take any footage from the inside because the photography you were not allowed. More from the outside, then. It really is incredible. I'm watching a drum performance. The theater was renovated from a sugar factory. As one of the activities, you could slide down from the top as well. And we're trying some more tea. It's lunchtime, and we're trying Southern Taiwan delicacy. This one is made of toast with seafood filling and sauce, and some noodles too. The next stop is the Walking Street. Hi, Winston. Then it's Fort Provincia, which was built in 1653 during the Dutch colonizations of Taiwan. It is now a Taoist temple. After we are heading to the moonwalk, for photos, please check out my Instagram at Pamelim. Indigo's hotel's signature drink is the oolong tea cocktail, and some traditional small bites that consist of chicken and seafood. Just a quick update on today's outfit. 
So my jacket is from um, Benetton. Black turtleneck from M&G. Bag from Balenciaga, the same one. What's challenging since I've started doing my YouTube and blog? I have to take a lot of photos when I travel. That's challenging now that I'm traveling alone. Usually I would travel with my family, so I would have someone to help take my photo. Ni hao. Good morning. We are heading to the Fo Go San Buddha Museum. It is one of Taiwan's largest Buddhist organizations. Now visiting Eta Outlet and there's a theme park next to the outlet as well. Our next attraction is the Gangshan Skywalk. Now visiting the Skywalk. It's not finished yet. I was fortunate to be invited by Kaohsiung Tourism Board. I was able to visit the Skywalk before it was open to the public. It was officially opened on the 14th of February 2018. Can you tell that it was shaped like a violin? My favorite snack from Taiwan and it's pork sheets with almond. I was given a box of tofu. This is called naughty kill egg. Basically it's just kill eggs and then they marinate it for a long time until it turns into that color. I'm just gonna try some eggs now. It's actually really, really good. And I'm gonna try the tofu as well. That's dry bean curd. Here's the tofu. It's actually really good. It's not salty. It's not salty at all. I like the egg more than the tofu version. It's like fish marinated in the soy sauce. I'm just gonna try the the fish. So here's what it looks like. It's good. I'm just gonna try the pineapple cake. The reason behind the popularities of pineapple cakes as gift and souvenir is that it represents prosperity. So I was given a sample, so I'm just gonna try it now. It's a bit chewy. What I like about it is that it's not too sweet, but it's a bit dry, so I think it will go well with tea or any drink. Another one of my favorites is the fish floss. It comes in that container. This is ideal for breakfast eating with rice soup. I don't really know what's inside, but I really like the packaging. Our last attraction of the day is the Plain Museum. And that large plane was Jing Kai-chek's official plane. Back in Kaohsiung city, I'm staying at the Grand Hai Lai Hotel tonight. It's one of the finest five-star hotel here. I'm staying in the same hotel that Michael Jackson stayed when he visited Kaohsiung. In the restaurant right now. So I'm at the official dinner tonight and we're having dinner with the uh, Board of Tourism from Kaohsiung. After the business dinner, I visited Watson nearby to shop for some drugstore skincare and cosmetics. If you want to see what I ended up buying, my Taiwan haul video is in the description box below. So this hotel is one of the older hotel, an older five-star classic style hotel and they renovated quite well, still maintains the glam and the luxury. So this is inside the room, there's a yukata prepared and some complimentary gift. Okay, cap. Some fruit for me. That's nice. And that's the view. Very 
wish you could see it without the reflection. Maybe I'll turn off the light a bit. So my outfit today, I didn't have time because I was rushing to get ready in the morning. I'm gonna show you what it's like in the toilet. My other camera just died, so I'm using my big one right now. It's quite nice. Like I said, it's in a classic style. The next day, I had my last milk tea with Bubble before flying back with China Airlines. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye!